Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about how important market research is for investing. As an investor, before you invest your money, you have to actually look at the product, look at the company, look at the market, look at the user base, look at competition and everything else before you actually put in your money so that you can uh, be sort of certain that you won't lose any money. So I'll give you two examples. Now the first example is a company, a French company called Danon. They're a dairy company and they're the third largest dairy producer company uh, worldwide. And when they shifted their, uh, when they tried to capture the Indian market, they completely failed and they had to shut down their uh, dairy production here. And the reason was that they didn't even look into the fact that half of all Indians, half, like 600, over 600 million people here, own cows, right? So if half the population already owns cows, they're not going to go out and buy <laughs> like milk, right? <laughs> and uh, they obviously selling to people uh, who don't really own cows either way. So it's a really tough market to capture and non-profit organizations have captured that market more or less. So there was basically nothing they could do and they <laughs> invested hundreds of millions of dollars and lost all of that because everybody already has a cow. How are you going to sell milk to someone who already owns a cow, right? That's just not going to happen. And then uh, there is the other example of Procter & Gamble, which designed a razor and they uh, launched this razor in India and then uh, Gillette actually, Gillette owns Procter & Gamble. So uh, Procter and, uh, and Gamble owns Gillette. So yeah, they built a razor and a disposable razor and they came to India with it, they launched it, they spent millions of dollars and they didn't sell even one single razor. And uh, their marketing head had to come down and actually figure out what was going on and he realized that the razor, the disposable razor was designed in America where they always have running water and in India uh, like 70% of the population doesn't have running water altogether. So <laughs> like when half the population doesn't have running water, nobody is going to use a razor that requires running water and uh, everybody here uses these uh, safety razors, right, which have those uh, razor blades which cost like um, one dollar for a hundred blades or something like that this is really cheap so obviously nobody's going to go and buy a disposable razor which is like hundred times more than that so uh, the disposable razors that they were uh, making were a hundred times more expensive and completely unusable nobody bought them so that's uh, the lesson here that when you try to enter a market and you try to design a product you have to keep the consumers in mind you have to keep uh, all these other factors in mind which might not even come into your um, head when you're designing the product and I'm trying to do that with my app too because uh, as I said like maybe there's no demand maybe there's a lot of demand I don't know that's why I wanted to do an alpha release before I actually uh, go out and do the ICO so yeah that's basically the little video here uh, let me know in the comments if you have any examples like this where a huge global brand entered a market and completely failed because of local like uh, variables that's all uh, thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one